Alex Duffy here on site at the first robotics competition in St. Louis with our sweet sponsored team, the Wolverines. Carla, the team captain is here. Carla, tell me a little bit about what you do for the team. Oh, well, my job on the team is to work with the design and build process as well as uh, help manage electronics and pneumatics. Okay, we have Gene over here. Gene, tell me what you do. All right, so on the team, I work on the design and build process of the robot as well as robot maintenance when we're at competition and um, tools maintenance. Awesome. Okay, over to this side, Giselle. Hi, my name is Giselle, and my job on the team is uh, being safety captain as well as doing the business portion of the team and during uh, build season also uh, helping with the design and build of the robot. Okay, and last but not least, Hi, my name is Nomar. I do programming, electronics, and pneumatics on team. And yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so I have with me a very diverse group, and we are here talking to both male and female team members a little bit about the diversity training that you guys had to go through. Can you tell me why it was so important from both of your perspectives to go through this training? Um, I think it was important because uh, we both get to see um, the opinion of both genders and how we feel about certain um, challenges that come up with a robot and we all have different opinions on how to solve it. Yes, how about you? Uh, I think it was important because uh, it gave us uh, the opportunity to see the perspective of women in engineering from both sides, both male and female. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to go over to this side. So why is it so important to each of you to have a, a diverse and inclusive STEM workforce and include the females in, in this industry? Well, I think that STEM is mostly about finding problems and finding the answers to fix those problems. And having male and female uh, people that work in those fields um, gives like a wider range of like uh, perspectives and how people manage to like uh, have ideas and engage in those problems. And from your perspective? Um, I, I think it's important because women shouldn't be allowed to have a specific, a specific desire to what they want to be or what they, what they are allowed to be. like. They're, they should be allowed to be whatever they want, just as much as men, as men are, mm -hmm. and they should like they should basically have the same rights and privileges that we do. Yes, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go off and talk a little bit about your robot here, which we'll get some shots in. But tell me a little bit about you just came back from a competition. So how has it been going so far? What is it that you're learning? Well, our robot has been working pretty well, as well as like um, what we wanted to do. Well, for the competition, it's um, working with uh, gears and mostly um, our robot is like uh, we focus mainly on speed for ours and it's pr working pretty quickly very good diligently good all right well that is the wolverine thank you all so much for being here and we can't wait to see what's next for you in the competition